Richard Curtis. Let's go. I'm feeling that. Come on now. Come on, man. What's up? Team captain today. He's looking good. Teachers, Mr. Mueller, Feldman, and Shang in the house. Audience, okay. Hey, guys, welcome to the show, everybody. Today, it's my students ready to rock over here against their favorite teachers. Where are they from? It's the Shipley School in Montgomery County. Hey, they're officially on the classroom. You guys know the deal. They're going to try to say that they're smarter than their teachers. And I love this school. Shipley rock and rolled, and they came out with some spirit. Monco always delivers, and I love that. Hey, today on the show, here's the deal. I got a $500 check waiting right over there, and one of these two teams are going to take it home. We're starting to find out who that's going to be with our pop quiz. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, Wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, guys, I got the smile on. So do you. Pop quiz starts right now. In the book by E.B. White, what kind of animal is Stort Little? Mr. Shang. Mouse. Mouse is right. Teacher strike first. Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Panama, Costa Rica, and Nicaragua combine to make what subcontinent? Mr. Mueller. Central America. Central nice America is right. Here we go. This is extra credit question. Students, you can tie the game right here. The cartoon characters Marge, Bart, and Homer share what last name? Shang. Simpson. Simpson is right. Get you guys the 40 points early here. What kind of landform has a steep slope, a defined summit or peak, and usually occurs in groups called chains or ranges? Mueller, first one in. Mountain. Mountain is right. In what type of tenant farming do families rent small plots of land from a landowner in return for a portion of their crop? Mr. Mueller again. Sharecropping. Sharecropping is right. Students, let's get you guys going right here. Fingers on those buzz. I can see you going. You're just getting a little bit late here. What two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of New York? Mr. Mueller. NY. NY. Filthy Fangs is the name of what actress's clothing and makeup brand? Answer there, Bella Thorne. We move on. How many days are in the month of November? First one in, Mr. Mueller. 30. 30 is right. In the NHL, the Canadian city of Ottawa is represented by what team? Mr. Mueller again. Senator. Senator is right. What iconic character has a cat called Custard and a dog called Pupcake? Buzzer silent here. Strawberry shortcake, and that's going to take us to the end of Pop Quiz. Ooh, teachers came out flying over here. How about it? 90 points for them. Students, we're going to get you guys going. No worries. I know how I feel sometimes when school starts. I'm like, ah, do I want to go? And then, boom, we come out of nowhere and rock and roll on this thing. A lot of game left for you guys to jump back in. Hey, today it's the students and teachers from the Shipley School in Bryn Mawr, PA. Look at that school. Hey, they got gators everywhere. We have some on the show right now. Let's meet them. Hi, my name's Amoy Miller, and I'm in the eighth grade, and I like to play soccer. Hi, I'm May. I'm in seventh grade, and I love to play lacrosse. Hi, I'm Isabel. I'm in eighth grade, and I like to play the harp. Hi, I'm Mr. Mueller. I teach social studies at Chipley School, and I am the rock of knowledge. Hi, I'm Miss Feldman, and I teach seventh, eighth, and eighth grade science at the Chipley School. And I'm representing paper because it covers everything, and it's going to make the students invisible. Hi, I'm Mr. Sheng. I teach uh, science and STEAM at the uh, Shipley School, and we're just going to cut right through the chase and slice up the competition. All right, we got rock, paper, scissors over here. I don't care if they win or lose. Let's send some of these teachers to detention. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. All right, I'm going to start with the trailing team. So, students, we're going to get you guys on the board right here. I'm going to give you the category of sports. Do you guys love that, or do you hate it? If you like it, you can play it. You guys can talk about it. 
play or pass? Go play. If you're going to play, here's your question. All about sports. A team playing in the division series of the MLB playoffs needs how many wins to advance to the next round? You can talk about it. We're going with three. It's a best of five series. They need three to advance. Good job, guys. Okay, you got to send one of your teachers to detention. Who's that going to be? Yeah. The audience is calling. You're, you're out of the game. See you later. He got hot pop quiz. Take out the hot hand. And they're playing a strategic game. I love that. Okay, teachers, we cook it right over to you. Category is math. Sure. We're going to play. When looking at a cube or box, length times width times height is the formula to find what? Area. Area. Looking for volume Ooh. on a cube there, guys. Cube or a yeah, box, looking cube. for volume. Students, you guys rock and roll. You don't have to do anything. And is it Mr. Shang or Miss Feldman going to detention? Mr. Shang. Now, Mr. Shang, before you go, throw those sunglasses down. Don't let them see you. And Ms. Feldman, we hold on with you standing right there. So we're going to come back to the students here on this next one. Uh, category here, guys. I don't know if you're going to love this or you hate it. Pass or play on English. Sure. Okay, pass. You're going to pass. Action, linking, and helping are all types of what part of speech? Verb. Verb is right, and she stays alive. And just like that, one of these students, did you guys know that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so they would have had a more tough one. Who's going to go to detention? Miss Feldman. Isabel. Isabel out of the game, eighth grader, guys. She is an eighth grade student, crushes the harp. Teachers category, we go back to you. Games. Play. In what play monster game? Do players try to remove plastic noodles from a bowl without letting a miniature abominable snowman fall in? That's a big smile on you right now. I have no idea. <laughs> what if I told you a Yeti and my spaghetti? That's fun to say, but you couldn't get the answer. Miss Feldman, you go to detention. Isabel, it was a short stay for you. Students, you win the round. How about it, guys? Amoy and his teammates put 40 points on the board. And when we come back, we go to art class next. You know how to draw well? We're going to find out. We'll see you right after the break. things what where would I pick a pair of those up at uh, Payless. Payless. hey I'm going with you they've got a deal over there well they look great nice choice on the show guys we're officially in the classroom it's teachers versus students and I'll tell you what this game's still cooking we got a lot left to do we're gonna see how well they draw where are we going next oh, here we go coolest shoes I've ever seen. All right, here's how this game works. Each team selected one player to draw. The trailing team's going to go first, so students are first up on the board. Now, we're going to select a word or a phrase hidden on the inside of this card. You're going to have five seconds of the first round to draw as fast as you possibly can to get your teammates while they have 10 seconds to guess. If you get in the first round, it's going to be 30 points. If you guess incorrectly, guys, I'm going to give you two more chances, but the points will decrease with each round. Now, Isabel, you guys had a huge win in detention. Is it red or blue to keep the streak alive? Blue. She's going to get matching the Shipley color blue back here, Isabel. As you look at that one, I'm going to uncap the marker for you. Have you had an art class this year yet? Yeah. Yeah. You, <laughs> you like that answer? Okay, you have five seconds when we start. She's had art class. Go ahead. Nice. Okay, stop right there. What are we looking at, guys? Whiteboard? Well, we are looking at a whiteboard. That's very good, oh boy. Uh, but not a cry gas. <laughs> Do we got to go over the rules again, oh boy? Five
Five more seconds starts right now. That was great drawing. Guys, so she's had art class, I'll tell you what. But ooh. Okay. I'm going just a heads up, it's not a whiteboard, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. What are we looking at, guys? Eraser. Let's put 20 points on the board, yeah! Nice job addition there. We're gonna switch, Isabel, you're changing with Mr. Shang. I'm gonna give you this, as you open it up, I'm gonna erase this board and give you a blank slate here. All right. Are you an artist on your free time? Not at all. Okay, well this should be good then for you. I'm gonna uncap, here we go, that's for you. Your five seconds starts right now. That's a good 20 points for the students. Gets you guys up to 60 here. Okay, stop. Faucet. A faucet is right, wow! What a drawing, what a guess. That gets you guys up to 120. Mr. Shen, great drawing, my man. That was excellent. I'll tell you what, 120 to 60. Both teams are scoring points here, so let's just keep it going. I'm gonna put some extra credit on the board here. Today, I'm asking one extra credit question. They're gonna have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answers. The correct answer here is 10 points. Here's the question. This is what it's all about. What stubborn Dr. Seuss character, excuse me, characters are north going and south going and never let the other pass? Do you know the answer? I'm gonna have it for you guys when we come back to the classroom. Great drawing. Today we have students and teachers from the Shipley School in Montgomery County. Teachers, you're in the lead, 120 on the board for you guys right now. Big art class for you, but students, you did just as well there. Got a detention win, 40 points for that, and then another 20 in art class. You're playing a great game as well. Now, before the break, I asked both teams this incredibly hard extra credit question. What stubborn Dr. Seuss characters are north going and south going and never let the other pass? Amoy, we're going to start with you. You said? Thing one and thing two. Incorrect. Oh. Now we go to our teachers. The uh, Sneetches. Oh. Sneetches are incorrect. The answer was Zach's. Nobody gets that one right, so the points don't get added, but $500 is up for grabs today. Amoy, if you win that, where's that going to go? Uh, we're going to donate the money to the Braintree School in Uganda, which is our sister school. Oh, wow, man. Well, that would be incredible. How long have you guys been partnered with them? Uh, I'm not sure. A long time is yeah. the answer, right? A very long time. Hey, they would love that 500. Good luck. You guys have been playing a great game. How about you, teachers? Where are we put that money? It's going to the Andrew Jackson School here in Philly. Oh, wow. So both ways, guys. We're giving it away, doing great, great things with it. Well, I'll tell you what. We're all smiling, and we should be, because the best day of the school year is always picture day. <laughs> Hope you guys wore your favorite shirts. Grab your buzzers, you're gonna need them here. I'm gonna show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing we covered with boxes. I'm gonna give you three clues one at a time. With each clue, we'll remove three more of those boxes. The first person to buzz in, correctly identify that picture, is gonna get 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, your side's locked out, so be very careful. Make sure you know it. Other side can jump in and steal. We have three pictures today, guys. Here is your first. This person once worked at Zaxby's and Six Flags. We're gonna move to picture two. I'm gonna take three more boxes away. This should help a little bit. His breakout song first went viral on TikTok. Mr. Shea. Little Nas X. Is that Little Nas X? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, Little Nas X, you know it. Old Town Road, his brand, his jam panini, though, is excellent. All right, teacher strike there, gets you up to 130. Let's do it again. Picture two. Here's clue number one. This person received a pet pig as a birthday present from Jay Leno. Mr. Shea. George Clooney. Is that George Clooney? Incorrect. Students, you want to take a guess there? Buzz in if you know. No guess. We move on to clue two. Here we go. She once dated a co-star. A co-star she dated. She has a pig. Finally, clue three. She starred in movies like The Kissing Booth and Slender Man. Joey May? King. Is that Joey King? That sure is Joey King. 
Good job, May. Gets you up to 70 points there. I gotta be honest, I'm not sure I want a pet pig as a birthday gift. So if you're gonna send one in, please don't. Picture three, let's do this. Cover them puppies with boxes, please. And here's clue number one. This person graduated from the United States Military Academy at West Point. Mr. Shea. General Douglas MacArthur. Is that General Douglas MacArthur? Incorrect. Students for the steal there? No guesses. We move on to clue number two. He was a general during the Civil War. Mr. Mueller. General Robert E. Lee. Is that General Robert E. Lee? That's exactly who it is. Looking fashionable right there. Teachers, you get the last one. Gets you guys up to 140 after picture day. Students, you're playing a great game. You guys have 70 points on the board, and you're within striking distance as we finish this out with the final exam. Let's wrap it up. Okay, here we go. The topic of today's final exam is all about animals. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. Guys, you're going to run through together during the commercial break. First, I'm going to give you these questions. Now, Mr. Shang, you guys are in the lead right now. What do you feel? Do you feel like the students can come back and, and get this thing? There's no chance at all. You're a big <laughs> animal guy. You're basically a veterinarian on the side, is what you're saying. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, well, guys, he's putting a lot of trash talk out there. Amoy, you've been playing a great game. You got some awesome glasses on today. You feel like you can come back and win this thing? Yeah. Who do you think you would talk trash to the most come the next school day? Mr. Mueller does. Mr. Mueller, <laughs> he's been playing good, but you got to think you're a big animal guy, too, so let's see how you do here. Any uh, Anything you want to say before you get into it? Uh, Mr. Miller, you're going down. There it is. All right, see, you just put him on the stage and let him go. All right, here are the questions, guys. Let's play a little final exam. Question one, what is the term for a rock crevice, cave, or hole dug into hillsides or under tree roots that bears use to hibernate in winter? Question two, animals. In Fortnite, what type of fake animals are the main loot boxes with supplies inside? Question three, animals, bald eagles are native to what continent? There are the questions. Each team, 60 seconds to talk about it. When we come back, one of these two teams, whether it be students or their teachers, will rank first right here in the classroom and take those bragging rights back to Shipley School. But before they go, Shipley's here today. I want you tomorrow. Let's get you on the classroom. Does your school want to be part of the game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Teachers, 140, you've played a great game. You've been in the lead since the start of this show, and the mm. students have just been crawling their way back into this thing. And now, consider yourselves in striking distance to win this game. Now, the topic of today's final exam is animals. We're going to ask three questions all about that topic. Each correct answer they get right is going to be worth 100 points. The students can get all three right. Teachers only get two. You guys can win this game. We'll see how you do right here. We're going to start with question number one, and here it was. What is the term for a rock crevice, cave, or hole dug into hillsides or under tree roots that bears use to hibernate in winter? All right, students, we're going to start with you. Isabel, eighth grader, she <laughs> plays the harp. What a cool instrument to play. Did you get it right? Cave. Uh, no. Incorrect. That was in the question we were looking for a different answer, Mr. Shang. This one. <laughs> Den. Den is right. That's what we were looking for. 240. Now, students, you are not out of this yet. We move to question number two. In Fortnite, what type of fake animals are the main loot boxes with supplies inside? May, have you ever played Fortnite? <laughs> no. Okay, well, you wrote this at the last second. You need this to stay in the game. You said? Lala. You're going to stay in this game. says it all. That was a complete guess, and that was a great guess. Here we go. Teachers, you said... Unicorn. Love that, and how about it? This game comes down to our final question. 
Bald eagles are native to what continent? Students, if you get this right, the game continues. Otherwise, teachers, $500 is going to your charity and coming back to the school in Philly. Amoy, you need this to stay in the game. North America. North America. And now we put the pressure on the teachers. They hold a 30-point lead. And it comes down to this moment. Teachers have played a great game so far. And they need to put this away with this one. Mr. Mueller, you were hot early. Do you stay hot now and take this win from the students? What did the teachers say? North America. North America is right. They came back and held on. 340 and 500 dollars is going back to you. And how about it? We got the Shipley crew out here hanging out. Hey guys, 500 dollars. Did they play pretty good today? Yeah. Yeah.